Greetings, astrologers. No matter what level you're at, beginner, intermediate, advanced, you'll always be learning. That's why we love astrology. Let's get into a bit of my version of a history lesson of astrology, okay? The most ancient texts that modern astrologers have come across is Babylonian astrology from 4 BC. They get this information from the cuneiform, the tablets, the clay tablets, the stone tablets from the Babylonians, where they can see that they kept, kept records of omen astrology, um, how they, what times they planted, harvested, when they did festivals, when they did their rituals. This system is a 360 degrees house system where each house is zero degrees to 29 degrees. It's broken up into four hemispheres and four quadrants, meaning northern and southern hemisphere, eastern and western hemisphere, and one through four quadrants broken up equally. So what does that mean? That means that this is a seasonal astrology following the 30 day or so 29 day, 27, 28 day movement of the moon through each constellation or sign. So the zodiac system that we are using is tropical. It's based off of the seasonal equinoxes. That's that. Now, Vedic astrology is is called side real astrology, astrology, which means star. And it is based off of the constellations, where the planets are based off of astronomy. From my perspective, because I'm an all-inclusive type of girl, that's no problem. You can use either or. And you will get precise results when learning about yourself. It'll just be a different experience. I suggest that you learn it all. It'll take you a lifetime. And maybe into the next lifetime. And that's the fun of it. So I want you to guys. I want want you to guys. I want you guys to enjoy these lessons. And I want you to gain insight into yourself. Into your environment. Into your soul. There's one main point that I see when I study... Um, astrology from different cultures from um, Western um, Vedic Egypt um, ooh, um, the Chinese Zodiac and the Native Americans which I feel like which is the um, the astrology we should be following here and they use the animal totem but since most of the Native Americans were wiped out, the, their information was wiped out. So the, the main text that we're able to really follow um, and see is from cultures that weren't complete, whose history wasn't completely wiped out. And Native Americans um, history was through folklore and storytelling. Uh, That makes me feel some type of way. But we're not here to, um, I guess, protest or make political stands. So I'm going to say focused on the task at hand. My point I was trying to make is that astrology, whether you use tropical or side reel, 
is based off of observation of the environment around you. If you look at the the animals that are used in um, Chinese astrology or even in um, Greek and Roman astrology, which is adapted, which was adapted from Babylonian astrology, you will see that the characters and the animals are based off of the people and their culture at the time. So you could possibly make up your own astrology system by observing your environment around you. Hmm, that's interesting, right? Because that would make the most sense and feel the most at home for you and your people. And that is how they made their astrology system. By observing the changes of season mixed with the planets, um, mixed with um, the activity of the people. And there's another interesting thing that I thought about when I was um, kind of coming up with what I was going to say for the intro to astrology is that since the system is based off of the changes in the moon phases, it's a feminine, it's a, it's a astrology system based off of the feminine principle and the feminine energy. And nobody really talks about that. And I want, it makes me want to explore what that means. It makes me want to get more and more into the moon and how important she is to our psyche. Ooh, my nose is itching. To our, um, to our everyday life and healing system. Now, there are already books written about this. But it's, it's different when you come to like your own conclusions and you make your own observations. So do, throughout this course, I will be asking you questions to help you observe yourself, your environment, your relationships um, to the planet, to your environment around you. <laughs> Enjoy. Peace to you. And we're going to start off with the qualities, the elements, the houses, the planets, and the zodiac signs. Enjoy. <laughs> 